हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द मल्टी वेरियट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वट इज़ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द विशार्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीशकर यू कैन फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल वेर यू कैन फाइंड द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द अप्लाइड मल्टी वेरियट स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड यू कैन सी द वेरियस लेक्चर रिलेटेड टू द मल्टी वेरियट नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स फंक्शन मूवमेंट जेनेटिक फंक्शन एंड एम एल ई ऑफ द मल्टी वेरियट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अवेलेबल इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट यू कैन फॉलो दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल for finding the various lectures on this topic now recall that when you are working on the univariate distributions that means if my x i is follows the normal distribution with this property then n minus 1 of s square i can return this value is i varies from 1 to n x i minus x bar square clear and we all knows this will follows chi square distribution with degree of freedom as n minus 1 clear now this concept that is the relative to the univariate i this concept is parallel in the multivariate normal distribution so what is the concept what is the concept of the n minus 1 as square in the multivariate normal distribution so that concept will define the wistar's matrix so this number n minus 1 s square is called as the matrix because you have a multivariate normal distribution this x will be my x1 x2 what is the dimension is p dimension so this is my x p fine so once this is the matrix definitely n minus 1 s square is my matrix of the p cross p and this matrix is called as wissart's matrix in other words If I say x i s are my independent multivariate normal distribution, then we can define the capital X whose columns are my variables and the dimension is my p cross n because each of the x one is my p dimension. Then this Wissart's matrix is my p cross p symmetric matrix because x is my p cross n. What is the x transpose? Is my n cross p. So what does it implies? What is the x into x transpose? This is my p cross p symmetric matrix, and that matrix is form a non-singular normal distribution. What is the meaning of the non-singular? I will explain you after a couple of slides. And once you know this is the matrix which is a symmetric, then the distribution corresponding to this symmetric matrix is called as Wistar's distribution. This distribution is a family of the symmetric positive. definite matrix that means if you have the positive definite matrix which are the symmetric then you can define the distribution corresponding to them and called as the wissart's distribution and which are used to model the covariance matrix because we all know this sigma is called as the covariance matrix which is my positive and symmetric definite now we have denoted the wissart's distribution with the capital w s follows the wistar's distribution p is called as my dimension n is called as the degree of freedom and sigma is called as the positive definite matrix if i consider p is equal to 1 that means a univariate normal distribution or you, uh, that is a dimension of the variable is 1 sigma is my identity matrix then this s is nothing but my chi square distribution or you can say wistar's distribution is the generalization of chi square distribution fine because we all know chi square distribution is in the univariate distribution however the multi if you have the multivariate normal distribution then the property which follows similar to the chi square distribution is wissart's distribution now what is the probability density function of the wissart's distribution let's say capital x or you can say the capital s remember in throughout the presentation you can use either as a capital s or the capital s is my p cross p symmetric matrix which is the positive semi definite and sigma is my fixed symmetric and positive definite why we call as a semi definite because of the concept of non singular fine because of the non singular concept i can take x is my semi definite then i can define the wistar's distribution for all those possible cases of the n what is the n is if i take the value of the x 
is my x1 up to xn and that n must be greater than of the dimension of the multivariate normal distribution np fine then we can define the joint density function which is defined this man where this capital k is my constant which is a positive mod of x thus this mod is called as the determinant because capital x is my matrix fine then mod is called as the determinant and this capital x is my determinant and this sigma this gamma is called as the generalized or called as the multivariate gamma distribution which is defined like this man remember that if i consider x is my positive semi definite or you can say x is my positive semi definite matrix then we can define this v starts distribution as a standard that means this sigma if i consider sigma is my i that is identity then we call it as a standard if i can write this s as product of this z into z transpose why because as i defined you earlier it is defined this is my what is that this matrix is called as my v starts matrix now if i consider sigma is my identity and, uh, and this is my n then we call as this uh, z is my normal standard normal distribution and each of the z i's are my independent so remember whenever this is my identity we call as the standard on the other hand if this is not my identity then we call this is my simple vsars distribution where this sig uh, instead of this covariance matrix identity is a sig where sigma is my positive covariance matrix in both the cases you have noted the mean of the z is my zero that is the mu is my zero on the other hand if mu is my non zero then what will happen then we call as the non central distribution the non central distribution has the additional parameter called as the delta which is called as the non central parameter again if s follows the v starts distribution then we can define the s is again zi into zi transpose where z is my instead of the zero it has some mean mu and that this additional parameter delta is defined like this man clearly say clearly say if my mu is my zero what does it means the non central distribution will converted into my v starts distribution and z becomes my zero comma sigma and definitely delta will be zero remember whenever you have a multivariate normal distribution s is my z into z transpose then we can define the non central distribution if which has the dimension p degree of freedom n mean is my mu covariance matrix sigma and the non central matrix delta which is defined as mu into mu transpose and this distribution is denoted by w is the vsars distribution p is the dimension n is my degree of freedom covariance and this non central matrix as i told you if delta is my zero then this s becomes my single simple vsars distribution and again if this is my i then we called as standard vsars distribution now from now onward whenever we have written s follows the vsars distribution then it means s is equal to summation of zi into zi transpose where zi is my multivariate normal distribution with the mean zero and the covariance matrix z sigma p where sigma is my positive definite and symmetric matrix also we call this is my covariance matrix and all of the zi is are my independent remember this in this case n is my degree of freedom and sigma is my positive definite p cross p matrix we call as the scale matrix remember now if you have a non central distribution and sigma is known to you then can you find the rank of the x because if delta is my zero if delta is zero 
then you can easily find the rank of the x but if delta is my non zero how you can find the rank of the x then we are wonder whether we are able to say something about the rank of the x or not for that we use this reason that means if x follows my multivariate normal distribution the rank of the x is minimum of the dimension and rank of sigma plus what is the mu of mu transpose this is nothing but my delta so rank of sigma plus delta and this has the probability 1 how you can see if s follows my vistas distribution non central vistas distribution s is my positive definite with the probability 1 if and only if n is my greater than equal to p and delta sigma plus delta is my greater than 0 that means this number sigma plus delta is my positive fine the proof is very simple what is given to you s follows my vistas distribution what does it means s is written as z into z transpose or i can written as z transpose into z also s is given to be the positive definite what does it means it means for all x which belongs to the let's say dimension is my p which is my non zero what is the definition of the positive definite that means x transpose s into x is my greater than g now what is given to you another thing it has a probability 1 what does it means one probability of the positive definite of s this is given to you so what is the positive definite of s this is my positive definite of s so i can substitute the number substitute the value of the yes what is the value of the s s is my z transpose into you can take an s is my z into z transpose that's on your choice fine so i can substitute this number now what is the value of the ab transpose we all know this is b transpose into a transpose i can write this number is z x transpose and this number is my as such z x transpose fine now clearly say if you have the number y if you have the number y transpose if you product them is a greater than 0 what does it means it means y is my non zero because it's a quadratic form so that means z x is my non zero now you all knows we all knows if you have the system ax is my non zero what does it means that means rank of the a which is equal to the dimension of the x fine so what is the dimension of the x dimension of the x is my p so the rank of the z a is my z is equal to p fine now when it will be 1 when the rank of the z is p if and only if n is greater than equal to p and sigma plus mu transpose that is a this value is my sigma is my p why because as i defined you previously how you define this value that is a minimum of p and rank of sigma plus mu into mu transpose so when it will be p it will be p only when this number is also p when it will be p when this number is my positive so that means sigma plus sigma is my positive so based on this definition we can define the non singular distribution so what is the meaning of that if you define the vistas matrix then there is no guarantee that this vistas matrix is invertible but if i as i prove that if whenever n is my greater than equal to p that means whenever the degree of freedom is greater than of the dimension and sigma is my positive definite then definitely this s is my invertible or you can say a matrix s is said to be a non singular distribution whenever n is my greater than equal to p clearly say in this case i have taken delta is my zero but if delta is my non zero then this number should also be greater than zero. that means a positive definite otherwise we call as the singular distribution what is the meaning of the singular distribution whenever n is my less than of the p and sigma plus delta is not positive definite 
in other words what can you say if i say x follows my multivariate normal distribution with the parameter 3 mu is my this sigma is my this number then if i take this number is my x1 and x2 only then what is the value of the n n is my 2 fine because x1 and x2 what is my p p is my dimension 3 now clearly say n is less than of the p so therefore this matrix is my singular matrix fine so if i take n is my greater than or equal to p and sigma is my positive definite then you can say this is my uh, single non singular distribution otherwise called as the singular distribution that next result now if this is my zero that means we are talking about the central distribution then what is that this is my s then you have to find the distribution of if you remember that in the univariate distribution what is the what is the z square it follows the chi square distribution fine so it means i can see this is my univariate now what about the multivariate normal distribution we can see the same concept now if s is equal to this by using the trace property i can simply write the trace of this also we all knows what is the trace of a plus b the trace of a plus b is trace of a plus trace of b so this value i can written as trace summation is outside and trace of this number now what is the meaning of that what is the dimension of the z is that z is my p cross 1 z transpose is my 1 cross p what is the z into z transpose is is my p cross p fine now another thing is we all knows the trace of ab which is equal to trace of ba fine so i can interchange them then what is the what is the size of z transpose into z this is 1 cross 1 so i can use this property trace of ab is equal to this number now the this number is my single number that means z transpose into z is my 1 cross 1 matrix so once it is a real number then what is the trace of the z transpose into z which is a single z into z, z transpose because it's a single number so therefore you can write this number now what is the z i z i follows my multivariate normal distribution so z transpose into z follows my chi square distribution and what does it means so we all knows the additive property of the chi square distribution so this will follows chi square distribution with the parameter n into p so therefore this trace of the s will follows my chi square distribution of this so what does it means but s will be my some summation of z i that means s follows my chi square of n p so what is the rule of this you can see if you know then you can find the expected value of this s and chi square distribution has n into p what is the variance of the s is 2 n into p now what is the summary of this lecture is what is the summary is the wisart distribution is the family of the distribution which are used to model this symmetric positive definite matrix once you know this distribution then we can define the matrix that is called as the wisart matrix which is a p cross p symmetric matrix and it is a non singular matrix that means the dimension of the n must be greater than equal to the p vector once you know this is the matrix the corresponding distribution we have defined is called as the wisart distribution and once you know this is the wisart distribution i can write this wisart distribution is wp where n is my degree of freedom sigma is the positive covariance matrix and once you know this is the uh, wisart distribution i can write this wisart distribution in terms of z i is into z i transpose where z i is are my independent and it's a multivariate normal distribution mean zero covariance matrix sigma p so this is the summary of this lecture i hope you can subscribe and like my youtube channel as well as this video we will see the next lecture how you can find the characteristics function of this wistar distribution till then you can share comment on my this video best of luck students happy learning